Welcome back to SmartHelping.com. I'm doing an update to the accounts receivable and payable sheet. It's not a specific structural update. All I'm doing is making it so you can use it in Google Sheets. And because Google Sheets has some added flexibility and better functions than Excel, it makes uh, the non-macro version much better. Um, and mainly in the in the viewable uh, invoices tab. So everything works as normal. Like you have your receivables entry here where every time you have a receivable, you enter the data about it, you know, the date, invoice number, the amount of the invoice, the payment amount, if any, um, uh, work type, if any, this is just a side uh, identifier, and then the customer name, and then the due date. And based on that data, this will just show you every customer, how much they've paid, how much they owe you, the detail, what invoices are, are still outstanding. Um, and then based on the due dates, you can see there's a receivables agent report, tells you how many, how much money you have in each category, you know, one to 30 days late, 31 to 60, a current, all up to 120 days or more. Gives you the chart. Um, it's based on today's date automatically. It shows you your aggregate here, total current, total past due, total aging. You can see your top 10 customers by amount owed. Uh, you can see your um, customers, basically how much is due in each uh, bracket. So it's either current, 1 to 30 days late, 31 to 60. So a given bar will have um, the amount of money that each customer owes or how much it's passed due. So if you know, you had a customer with a whole bunch past 121 days, it's going to show here. You see this right here. And if that's big, you know, that's obviously not a good thing or you need to draw attention there. Um, but this shows just based on the top 10 customers. The reason why it doesn't have all 10 is because I've actually only entered data for, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, for nine unique customers, so that's why there's only nine there. If I put a tenth one in, it would automatically populate. Um, it also shows what's coming due, so what customers, like how much uh, receivables do you have coming due in the next month based on your data entry, like based on the due dates and the amounts. So that's pretty interesting logic there. I think it's pretty useful. Uh, then we have the same exact thing, but for payables. So if you want to track your payables as well. Now, usually people just use this for either payables or mostly receivables. But this has the ability to track both. So on the payables, you just enter, obviously, the date, invoice number, the vendor you owe it to, the amount you owe on that invoice, and the amount paid. Um, now, if you did, a, like, let's say here we did a payment on this invoice later for vendor 28. Let's say this was done on, a, well, we just put the same dates, but on 11.2, you had invoice, and this actually should be the same here, 3.4FJ th for 15,000, and then they paid it, let's say it was a different date here, so it makes sense, I'm just arbitrarily changing this date, it'll be specific when you actually enter it on here, but let's say you pay it on the 5th, 6500 so it, it will show you what you you know because you always want to keep your own records of what you owe people and not just rely on what they say you owe so you guys can match up but you know this says you own 15 you make a payment here uh, you just enter the same invoice and then just all you have to change really is the, the date of the payment the due date should just be the same and it will track that it'll say okay well if you bring up customer t vendor 28 over here where's my payables customer 28 and the nice thing about Google Sheets also is you can just search or I'm sorry vendor 28 you can search and it will bring up exactly that one and you can see oh I've got for this invoice and actually Let's make this unique. So it actually only shows unique invoices. And you can see there I've, uh, I owe 15 on it. I paid 6,500. I have an outstanding balance of 8,500. So this is the new thing is this filter formula that I put on here. 
Um, and that's automatic based on the vendor you choose and as of the whatever date. And then it'll show you an aggregate here. Let's say vendor one, we have three different invoices and they're all outstanding. So it's gonna say you owe the whole amount 86,000, spent 86,000. See if there's any other. Vendor four, we've got two different invoices. Now see, so let's go to vendor four. You've got a total of 51,000 on this invoice. Let's make a payment on the invoice. So three, four, FD, go to payables, data entry. Three, four, FD, this one. So the easiest way to do it is just, I'll copy it, do an entry here, and I'll say, okay, I'm gonna actually pay 25,000 on it. And we'll paste the date down here that it was due on for vendor four. And we're actually going to make the payment. Let's say just hypothetically, it was on the 18th. So now if we go look at vendor four for invoice three, four FD. Oh, now look, we got a payment showing up at 25,000 for vendor four. So now shows are updated. Um, current amount owed, what we've paid so far, and the total amount of all the invoices. So that's pretty much it. And it's just simple as that. All you have to do is enter your every uh, invoice, how much it was for, and what the payment was on it. Now, if you wanted to, you could just keep this the same if you didn't care um, about tracking when the different payments were made. And you could just simply go on to this 34FD Instead of making a whole new entry for it, you just put in the amount paid here and just accumulate that amount. Um, doing it like this with separate rows shows you you can identify like individual payments, so that might be better for your bookkeeping. But either way, you'll see the same result on your um, invoices. Now I've added other tabs here, like the receivables shows just every single customer and their totals. Uh, for receivables and same with uh, payables, it'll just list everybody and show their amounts. The filter is just nice to look up one um, one customer as well as seeing the individual invoices because on these monthly summaries, it shows just the aggregate for the customer, not every single invoice for each customer. Uh, we've also got a running balance so you can actually see what happens over the course. I've done over three years here, but you could just use it for one year at a time. That's what most people do. And you can see how much you've done in sales, how much you've collected, what's the outstanding balance every month. And yeah, that updates as the data entry updates. Same thing goes for payables. You see payables here. How much you've paid out, how much you've got outstanding still that you owe. Um, the validation tab, just you can list your customer names, vendor names, work type. And these will be all populated based on whatever you change them to here, up to 250 unique IDs for both customer, customers and vendors. And then when you go ahead and enter them here, you can see you have you can pick from the list. And again, with Google Sheets, it's nice because if you start typing in the box, you can see it starts to narrow down, so you don't have to like search through the whole list. Um. Now, if you did want to speed this up, you could probably remove the AR monthly and AP monthly if you don't care about the monthly um, view. And then if you do do that, it's going to speed up the the um, the Google Sheet. Like you can see, it takes some time. If you change something, it takes time for these to update because these are the most intensive compute uh, tabs. Everything else is pretty pretty light. Um, there's some visuals here. This kind of shows you if your accounts payable and receivable. Um, some different views over the first. And now this will only take into account the first year of this running balance tab. Um, it can easily be modified if you just go into the visuals and edit. 
go to data and just pick and just make these go instead of going to column P, you can make it go further. Um, and then it will just extend this uh, based on however you want it. Simple there. Um, and then I've got instructions here that are basically just go over what I just said. Change this to three. Um, a little for more. Now you can buy this at smarthelping.com. And you'll note that um, the link to buy this is going to be in the description box below. That leads to the smarthelping.com specific page. Now, I would say that you're going to get this AR and AP Google Sheet version. You're going to get the Excel version with macros, and you're going to get the um, Excel version non-macros, which is basically this same thing but you're going to have to manually enter if you want to look up certain invoices you have to look you have to manually put them in here and then these will auto update um just because excel doesn't have um doesn't make it easy to do such things so that's it um hope you guys have a great thanksgiving and i'll head off here